All right, people. We got the woolly mammoth in here. Ron's getting started. We're pulling the hood off of it. We got the, uh, we're trying to get stuff in here before winter time. Here's the 440 that we're gonna take down the machine shop. This is the one that will go in the uh, shop truck, the little black 82 Dodge. Uh, so we're building that for this. We're gonna, what are we gonna do, Ron? We're gonna take the whole front clip off this? To Maybe. Pull the, or we'll just pull the hood or? It might be easier to take the front clip off. All right. A little bit of work, but we'll be able to reach everything a lot better. All right. All right, guys, as promised, we told you we'd dig into this thing, so here we go. When we get done with this thing, it'll be like a brand new pair of overalls, tight and ready to rip. All right, we got the hood off this thing. Hey, Ron, does, does the air conditioner work in this thing? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Put a little WD on that. Good as new. Yeah, that was froze up. We squirted a little bit and Ron started working the handle. She freed right up. Well, it's probably a good thing, Ron, that we didn't try to start this thing. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, look at it. Looks like the antifreeze got kind of weird on you. Yeah. How's it ready here to look? Yeah, look down in the down in the neck. You should have saw that earlier. Really? Oh yeah, that's real good. Yeah. Is that some of that stop leak they put in there? Maybe. So guys, this motor's coming out of here. This is coming out. We was just gonna try to get it running, but after seeing this, we're gonna take it out of here and go through it. Getting ready to take this hose off. Ron, go ahead and pull it. Watch it. The antifreeze will probably run out though as soon as you pull that. Oh, yeah. Oh, antifreeze everywhere. Everywhere. It's maybe why Stick the your finger down in there, Ron. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Maybe that's why the thermostat's stuck, huh? I don't know. Probably the thermostat's still good if we can. Uh... We don't want to keep it original, right? Isn't that our goal? Yeah, we need to shop back for that. Yeah. What are we doing with this thing anyway? I don't know. I don't know. All right, we're making a little progress on the Lily Mammoth. These bolts are a little bit rusty, as you can imagine. All right, that comes off. And we're gonna we're gonna try to get this front clip loose. Just take the whole front clip off. I think it'll be a better bet for us. So, try to get the rest of the bolts out for this bumper. Guys, how are we doing on this? Those are some rusty bolts. Need up a little more run. We free? Yep. Set on the tires. I may have to hook up the center of the to pick it up. All right, let me set this camera down. And we'll uh, we'll see what happens. All right, I gotta get a better camera set up here, guys. This is gonna make it a little easier now to get to up here. So now we can get to this Hemi here to work on it. Somebody in one of the comments asked me what the shock setup was on this, and I'm thinking, what shocks?
there's that front clip off so we we'll work on that easier and make it a whole lot easier to get to here guys I don't I don't know what this is here this oiling system where it comes out of here for the for the compressor I mean the oiling and the cooling both see this is extra coolant lines comes out right here right here this is coolant line that comes up and goes into the back of that compressor for the air brakes this is uh, this is different than anything I've ever worked on Look at that right there, a grease fitting on a water pump. When's the last time you seen one of them? All right, we're into it now. In for a penny, in for a pound. No backing out now. You better tune out. If you don't want to watch, this ain't for the weak at heart. Here we go. All right, boys and girls. As my uncle Jess used to say, this is only a test. So we're hooked up, we're gonna to try to get her out of here, see what happens. Here's what we got going on. We got the motor out. We got the transmission off of it. We cannot get this bell housing to come off. And <coughs> I called Vic and he said, <coughs> we got to take the flywheel off, which is somewhat of a problem because the motor won't turn. And we still can't get it freed up. So I put about all <coughs> we dare put on it with that, with our setup here on the front so <coughs> we'll see if we're going to get our happy pants or so we're going to start taking the thing apart ron go ahead and see if that intake will come off there oh boy whoa oh, that looks good Well, it really don't look like, though, the rats have been down in the bores. So, you know what we'll do? We'll go ahead and take the heads off this thing and uh, just start. I would like to get it on the motor stand and got it out of here, but... Got to do what we got to do. All right, everybody, here I am. Not where I want to be, really. I still can't get this thing freed up. And I can't get the bell housing off of it until I get the flywheel off of it. And I can't get the flywheel off because the motor won't turn. 
So I drain the oil out of it. I'm gonna take the front off the motor and we're just gonna flop this thing over on its top and wrestle it here in the floor. And I'll take the rods and mains off and just pull the crank, flywheel and everything. Not what we wanted to do, but I don't know, we're into it. Well, stay with it, I won't quit, I promise. I'll hang in there just like a hair in a biscuit. I gotta tell you, I'm really confused here. I have never, I've never seen this. This is a gear drive. I've seen gear drives before, but most gear drives that I've ever messed with have four gears, the big one on top, then the small one, then like the little wishbone that goes, you know, with a gear on each side, like here and here. So I have all kinds of questions about this with two gears angle cut like this. The cam is turning opposite the crank. I don't know. I got to call my buddy Vic and have him come out and, and tell me some stuff on this, but still can't get it to turn over. So I'm going to roll it over. We'll pull the pan off, see what we got. All right, moment of truth. We're going to pull this pan off. This will make us happier like, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Oh crap. Well, what is that stuff down there, Ron? Just sludge? I think it is. Rust? Looks like the bottom of that pickup rusted off. Oh wow, look at that. All right, That's so what it we'll, is. Uh, We'll get all this, take the rods off what we can get to, the mains, and then see if we can't uh, get that flywheel and stuff off there. Make sure you change your oil regularly. Look at that. Yeah, this wouldn't have been one of them shows where you take a little bit of gas and a battery and get her running. see the first part remember this is a 1955 Dodge three ton it's a job rated T this is a 331 Hemi so we got the motor out of it got it all tore apart it was a tussle but we got it out of there cylinders one and eight were were pretty tight froze up pretty bad and I uh, had to get pretty rough getting the pistons out but everything I think is rebuildable we'll take it to the machine shop and have them we might have to board a little bit to get the cylinders cleaned up. We'll check the crank out, the cam and everything, make sure that what we have is, is rebuildable. Uh, guys, I'm just an old redneck. I was a pipeline inspector and I lost my job, so I'm just trying to work back here in the garage and keep the lights on. So as far as content, what we're gonna do with this truck, we really don't know. Uh, I put it up for sale one time and I had all kinds of comments about Stubby Bob, Stubby Bob, and I didn't know anything about Stubby Bob. I looked it up and I guess the Roadkill guys had an old Ford and they made a wheel stander out of it. And I thought, well, that's something I know a little bit about carrying the front end. So I thought I would do that, but after the first video, there's so many old Dodge truck guys out there, I'm afraid if I do anything cutting this thing up, somebody will hunt me down and kill me. Uh, there's just too much neat stuff. The air brakes on this thing are just, uh, the, the way everything works, it, it kind of amazes me. So I think what I'm gonna do now is uh, try to keep it original as much as I can because somebody sent me a, a link. I think this truck like brand new was like 4228. The air brakes were like a $470 adder. So that would be, that, that's a lot. That's 10% of the cost. 
So I can't imagine there was a whole lot of these trucks made with air brakes on them. Maybe somebody watching this could, you know, message me and tell me or, or whatever. But, uh, so anyhow, I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna rebuild this motor. Like I say, it's a 331 Hemi. We're gonna just rebuild it, get it back in there, go through the brakes, put the air brakes, the compressor and everything back on it and make it a running, driving truck. And then we'll go from there as far as, I don't know if we'll make a car hauler out of it or just, we'll probably drive it around. The truck will probably be for sale at any point in the build. So if anyone's interested, but anyhow, guys, what I'm saying is uh, if you like what we're doing, uh, Please subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll just, you know, keep doing what we're doing as, as long as the Lord allows us. So, uh, okay, that's all for this episode. Keep watching. Everyone have a blessed day.